This year's Ig Nobel Prize, the parody of the Nobel Prizes, gave their Physiology or Medicine Award for Discoveries Concerning Peripheral Immune Tolerance. Don, stop! Which is funny because, um... Oh, oh, it's October, right! I'm sorry, these, these are important too! You may remember from high school biology that T cells help find things in your body that aren't supposed to be there. They're literal body guards. Hey, I heard there's some heat and resources in this body. I'm a totally normal cell. Mind if I just... You have helper T cells that identify the pathogens and then killer T cells that no, please, do the dirty work. No. But have you ever wondered how those helper T cells learn to do that job? Because it does seem like the harder of the two, in, in my opinion, in, just in my opinion. Because if it goes wrong, your body could send the killer T cells to attack your own cells, as in the case of an autoimmune disease. Fortunately, when your T cells mature in your thymus, they actually get tested on this. Are you influenza? I am literally your teacher, fail, next. This is called central tolerance because it's when the T cells group up in one place to get screened to make sure they can tolerate the regular cells in your body before they get sent out. But in the 1980s, Shimon Sakaguchi was conducting experiments on mice when he noticed something interesting. When they removed the thymus from newborn mice, their immune systems understandably went haywire. Our whole body is made of influenza! <laughs> But when they gave them some T-cells from healthy mice, their immune system seemed to calm down. Which would only make sense if there was some kind of peripheral tolerance that was happening outside of the thymus. And in 1995, they identified the source, a new type of T-cell we had never noticed before. And after more experiments on mice by Mary Bronco and Fred Ramsdell, in 2001, they were able to identify the gene that was responsible for what we now know are regulatory T cells. These are cells that essentially double check the work of the helper T cells. They're like bodyguards for the bodyguards. <laughs> I don't know, man, you're looking pretty sus. Let me just hey, call Hey, can I check that real quick? Oh yeah, Thanks. here you go. Hey, you gotta come over. Also, have I ever told you I flippin' love you, man? Sorry about that, you're, you're good to go. And as much as I'm having fun here, this had an enormous impact in our understanding of the immune system and how to treat it. Now researchers are looking into how we can buff up and multiply these regulatory T cells to stop the body from attacking itself in the case of autoimmune diseases. And other researchers are looking to see how we can reduce regulatory T cells around things like cancerous tumors, so this way, the body can attack itself. This opened up a huge field of medical research, and it wouldn't be possible possible without Sakaguchi, Bronco, and Ramsdell and their teams. <clears throat> and also the mice that were the basis of their research. And was that so hard? 